If you are someone who is sensitive or eerie with scabs and open cuts, I recommend not watching this video, but if you would like to stay to the very end, that's perfectly fine. You've been warned. So here's the picture we are going to be working with. I'm sorry it's not the best picture. I was going to do it in colored ink, but sadly we ran out. And also our printer ink is currently running out too, so this is just the picture we're going to have to work with. So we're going to start off with the eye portion. So this eye is completely fine. Nothing is wrong with this eye whatsoever. But this eye, on the other hand, has a bunch of issues with it. So, right here, on this side of the eye, is just his normal eye. This is just the normal, um, I don't know what that part of the eye is called, cornea maybe? I don't know, I'm not an expert on eyes. But down here is, down here in this purple area, is the whole entire inside of the eye. So basically... The eye so this is the full eye basically this part of the eye flipped upwards so right here there's no eyeball all right there is just white from the inside of the eyeball so that inside you can see the eye socket and everything like that so it looks like whatever got him pretty much sliced through right here and caused the eye to roll up and to go in there so he's either gonna lose it or have to get his whole eye removed causing him to go blind in either side this side and this is just water from irritation and just for him trying to get his eye healed um, right here on his nose that's just like a little scab nothing too much right there and then this you cannot really see it too well in this picture but it here he has a huge scab a golden scab as I saw what I showed you in the the pictures in the video so right here, the scab starts pretty much right about here, and it goes to right here. Right here is his, right here is his upper lip. So his upper lip is no longer there. His upper lip is gone. There's nothing there whatsoever. Um, so whatever scratched him, obviously scratched him right here or bit him or whatever. But when he did that, he bit off the upper lip too. So he has no upper lip. So all you can see is his teeth. Um, right here is his tongue, so his tongue is sticking out right now because he can't close his mouth, obviously. So it'll be super easy to focus feed him by just we'll just stick a syringe easily right through his teeth and we'll just eat him like we'll just eat it like that. Um, we also found a little syringe, I mean a little scab way down here. I'm gonna say it was probably right about here. There was probably a little scab there, but again, that's not too bad either. 
the main parts we're just focusing on is his eye and this big scab right here. He doesn't he doesn't need stitches anywhere, thank goodness, because yeah, he just doesn't need those. But we're mainly worried about these two parts. We don't know what's gonna happen. We're assuming he's definitely not getting vision back in this part of his eye. He's definitely not getting vision back in this eye at all. Um He's have he's been having a lot of pain around this area, his mouth, and right here. So we're trying everything we can to make it better and to make him not have so much pain. So that's just what's going on. I hope that helped you guys kind of get in like an explanation of what's happening. Um, I will definitely do some updates on him, but this is the update we have right now. So yeah, but I will do some more updates on him in the future. And I'll along, and I will also do some short videos, like the shorts, along with him, just to check up on him and everything. But this is just update we have now. I hope this helped you. And yeah, here's a little close up. I hope it helped you guys.